The Yakutian Laika is a working dog breed that originated in the Arctic seashore of the Saka Republic. The major habitat is estuaries of Kalima, Indijurka, Yana, and Lina. In terms of functionality, Yakutian Laikas might serve as a reindeer herder's dog, hunter's dog, and a sled dog. In September 2019, the FCI officially accepted the breed. The Yakut Laika is a fluffy all-rounder, always ready to drag sledges through snow drifts and get a hunting trophy. The owner of this restless northerner will only need to be ready to accompany the pet in all its activities, and it is better to involve a few more huskies in the process, Yakuts do not like to work and relax in splendid isolation. With external data, these pretty guys are also all right, therefore, walking with Yakut Husky down the street, get ready to periodically satisfy the curiosity of passers-by by answering questions about your dog's breed. Highlights the breed is included in the pedigree bases of the RKF, but is still not recognized by the International Sinological Federation, FCI. In 2018, scientists from South Korea cloned two Yakut Laika puppies and then donated them to the Bayonai Kennel Club, which is engaged in improving the breed. Yakut Huskies are not bursting with barking for any reason, preferring to voice only in case of real need. The breed easily tolerates low temperatures and does not require expensive grooming. Regular activity and moderate physical activity are the things without which a dog cannot fully exist, so say goodbye to the idea of raising an apartment sofa pet from a yakut. Like the husky, many yakut likas have blue eyes, thanks to which dogs are bought as unusual fashion pets. Yakut huskies are not considered a difficult breed, but people who do not have experience in training active dogs with developed hunting instincts will have a hard time with them. History of the Yakut Laika breed Initially, the breed had more than 20 names, since every researcher who came across Yakut Huskies gave them a new name. Accordingly, having met in the literature mention of such species as the Yukajur, Arctic, Evink, Tungus, and Akatsk Laika, keep in mind that we are talking about the same dog. The homeland of these smart and active creatures is the northeast of Russia, or rather, the vicinity of Amalon, Anadar, Kalima, Yana, Indijurka, and Bolshoi Anui. Historically, animals lived near the so-called dog rivers, large waterways rich in fish. The reason for the limited breeding area of the breed is due to its practicality. The indigenous peoples of Siberia fed their pets exclusively with dried gifts from reservoirs and therefore acquired huskies where they could really be fed. Archaeological excavations show that hunting with dogs in the Saka Republic began more than 8,000 years ago, which is an additional confirmation of the breed's aboriginal status. Among the Yakut hunters of the 16th century, the husky was considered an incredible value, and her puppy was an expensive gift, obliging a lot. Adults were not given or exchanged, since the dog was the main breadwinner and vehicle for the family. In addition, the northerners sincerely believed that huskies had supernatural powers and were able to see spirits. The first descriptions of the breed were made by famous pioneers, Semyon Dezhnev, Ivan Rebrov and Ilya Perfilev. As for the reliable images, they were provided by the Dutch cartographer Nicholas Whitson. He also wrote a book about his travels across Russia, in which he told that in Siberian villages huskies are used, not only as earners and watchmen, but also as a cheap draft force. It is also known that during the expedition of Vitus Bering, Yakut huskies carried as equipment and food supplies after the explorer, and in the 19th century, dogs were attracted to deliver mail to remote regions of the north. The first preliminary breed standard is the description compiled by Maria Dmitrieva Sulamova in 1910. At the same time, Yakut Huskies did not appear at exhibitions until the beginning of the 21st century. Only after the official standard of the RKF was approved in 2005, the Yakuts began to be exhibited in the rings. However, even today the number of animals remains small, which is due to the planned extermination of dogs in the 50s of the 20th century. Then the Soviet leadership recognized the breeding of the breed as inexpedient therefore, during the mass shootings, the bulk of the breeding fund of Lycas was eliminated. Yakut Lyka Breed Standard the constitution of animals was formed by the extreme climatic conditions of the north, the action of which strengthened the working status of the breed, so one should definitely not expect refinement of forms from Yakut Lycas. The correct Yakut today is a compact, robust fellow with very thick skin and incredibly developed coat, which lacks any hint of looseness and dampness of constitution. But the severity of the sexual type of the breed, on the contrary, is inherent, therefore, males are always wider in the chest and larger than females. The girls have their own distinctive feature, a stretched body, which is due to the ability to bear and give birth to offspring. The growth of an adult Yakut Husky male is 55 to 59 centimeters, female 53 to 57 centimeters. Deviations from the given growth parameters are undesirable due to the historical purpose of the animals. Two small dogs always fizzled out faster, while riding and could not overcome large snow drifts, while overly large individuals pierced the crust crust with their weight and drowned in the snow. 
will. The coat is even, hard, with shine and a very voluminous warm undercoat. Feathers are formed on the back of the legs, an elongated on on the underside of the tail, and an abundant collar around the neck, which is most pronounced in males. The desired length of the will of the Akat Laika, on the body, up to 5 cm, on the suspension of the tail and mane, up to 15 cm. The full formation of the wool structure is completed only by two years. Color. Representatives of the breed are born completely white or spotted, any two and three color variations. Like the on structure, the colors of the Akat Laikas have been stabilized for two years. The nature of the Akat Laika. The Akat Laika is a smart and smart girl, focused on constant interaction with the owner and his family members. The level of aggression in the breed is minimal, so feel free to bring the Akat to a house where there are small children, this four-legged fidget will certainly make friends with them. By the way, the sociability of the Akat Laikas extends not only to people in a team of their own kind, the nimble northerners also do not shy away and quickly find contact with all members of the group. In working circumstances, hunting, riding, the breed is quite independent and capable of making its own decisions. Do not confuse this character trait with stubbornness, it is not typical for animals to act contrary to a person's order, therefore, the dog's personal initiative manifests itself only where the owner's prohibition cease to apply. The Akat Laika is not a breed for a passive owner. To truly experience the taste of life, a dog has to work. And it doesn't matter so much whether it is moose hunting, skydiving, or sledding. Without physically giving out, the Akat is bored, falling into apathy, or vice versa, demonstrating destructive behavior. Most sources describing the characteristics of the breed emphasize the complacence of the character of its representatives. In this regard, potential owners have a not entirely correct impression of the Akat Huskies as obedient and naturally intelligent pets. In fact, the Northerners are capable of destructive cunning tricks, and if they are not stopped in this, they can go far in their sabotage. At the same time, the breed remains extremely intelligent and quickly draws conclusions from any situation, which greatly facilitates the educational process. Education and Training It cannot be said that the Yakut Huskies are so dominant in character, although they need a leader in the person of the owner. Remember, a dog listens only to someone he respects and whose authority he is ready to recognize. Yakut Laikas have excellent eyesight, flair and hearing, invaluable innate qualities if you are going to raise a hunter from a puppy, but you should not expect superpowers from a pet. In Siberia, Yakuts were bred as dogs for everything, so hunting was more an additional qualification of the breed than a lifelong affair. Today with Yakut Huskies they go mainly to elk and bear, but for fur trade they are not considered the most suitable helpers. Raising a husky puppy begins with socialization. In the first days, after moving to a new place of residence, the baby gets used to the changed conditions, smells and people in his environment. During this period, the animal needs to be helped to get used to it, to minimize the area of its movement, preferably to one room, and not to create stressful situations upon contact. Toilet training for the Yakut Husky should be started as early as possible. Usually the puppy is placed on the litter box immediately, after sleeping and resting. If you initially plan to relieve needs on the street, take your pet out into the yard more often. Owners who decide to keep the puppy in the yard from the first days of life should not neglect hygienic discipline either. Usually, yard dogs themselves find their favorite place on the territory, which they use as a toilet. If the ward is in the habit of leaving piles wherever the need arises, try to correct his habits. For example, spray areas you would like to keep clean with strong smelling deodorant or menthol fragrance that dogs hate. Another option is to spread heaps of earth marked with other tails in the places of the proposed toilet. Likes are wonderful sniffers, therefore, having found such a hello from their fellow tribesmen, they will definitely want to leave their scent mark on it. At two to three months you need to start training. By this time, the Akat like a puppy should know his name and respond to the nickname. It is better to conduct classes twice a day so that the animal does not get bored. Owners who have remembered the driving purpose of the breed and harnessed the husky to the sleigh should also follow a number of rules. Namely, do not put in a harness a dog that is under one year old. Remember also that at least eight dogs carry sledges in the north, so even an ordinary sled in which a child sits is an overwhelming burden for one animal. The distribution of places in the harness is also carried out in a strict order, the strongest dogs are placed closer to the sled, and individuals with leadership inclinations are placed in front. Maintenance and care. The Yakut Laika is little adapted to urban realities, and even more so to life in an apartment. The natural environment for a dog is a country estate with a vast walking area or an ordinary rural backyard. Possessing a thick coat, animals tolerate cold more easily than tropical heat, so it is undesirable to take them for a walk and hunting on especially hot days. The optimal living conditions for the Yakuts are considered to be a courtyard and an aviary. 
Keeping a husky in the house is also possible, but it comes with a number of inconveniences both for the pet itself and for the owner. Hygiene. It is clear that Siberian hunters had no time to engage in the image of working dogs, so today's yakut huskies are undemanding to care and they do not have to be taken to groomer salons. The breed sheds seasonally and the fur of the huskies does not exude a strong canine smell. Bathing northerners is generally undesirable since their fur coats are capable of self-cleaning, but a couple of times a year it is necessary to arrange a bath day for your pet. You will have to tinker more with show specimens, besides, the cost of professional cosmetics in this case cannot be avoided. Particular attention will have to be paid to white huskies, they need shampoos and balms designed specifically for blonde dogs. The washed jacket husky is allowed to dry with a hairdryer or a compressor, the hair structure does not suffer from this. During the shedding period, the dog will have to be combed daily to prevent the lagging undercoat from falling off. The rest of the time, you can brush your pet occasionally, once a week or less. Even a child is able to master the eye care of the Akut Laika. It is enough to moisten a clean cloth in a hygienic ophthalmological lotion or strong tea infusion and wipe the edges of the eyelids, removing dust and mucus lumps from them. Ear cleaning is carried out once a week according to the same principle, buy a lotion for ear funnel hygiene and use a clean cloth to remove excess wax. Cutting the claws is obligatory for huskies who walk a little and unproductively, you need to shorten the claws with a nail clipper for medium breeds about once a month. Feeding. The ancestors of the Yakut Huskies were not pampered with pickles, in the winter the dog was fed with dried fish so that it had the strength to drag the sledges, and in the summer, during a period of relative inactivity, they were treated to slop and leftovers. Today, it makes no sense to follow the northern traditions, so most breeders feed their pupils either with high-quality drying or with natural products. At the same time, the seasonality of the diet should be observed if the animal lives in a yard or an open-air cage, in winter, feed more densely, 80% of the diet is meat protein, in summer it is less high in calories. The nutrition of modern yakut likas is raw or slightly cooked lean meat, rabbit, chicken, lamb, horse meat, turkey meat, tripe, any offal, sea fish with previously removed bones, cereals cooked in bone or meat broth. Fermented milk products are not absorbed by the organisms of all dogs, therefore, it can be given only to those individuals in whom this food does not provoke digestive upset. Vegetables and fruits, except for potatoes and legumes, are only good for huskies. Moreover, they should be given dried or raw, cut into thin slices, as well as sliced on a grater. Cabbage and other cruciferous vegetables are best served boiled. Health and diseases of the Akut Lycus. The aboriginal status of the breed awarded its representatives with excellent health and a predisposition to a limited number of diseases. The main ailments that Yakut Huskies are prone to are dysplasia of the joints, eye diseases, oncological problems in elderly dogs, dermatitis and eczema. Please note that the last two diseases are manifested mainly in individuals living in hot climates. A thick undercoat that warms in the northern latitudes, in the southern regions, causes a lot of problems since it prevents air circulation between the layers of wool and inhibits heat exchange processes. How to choose a puppy. Evaluate the appearance of the puppy in accordance with the breed standard, but do not forget that the structure of the coat and color in young individuals is not formed. As a result, to find out how intense the color of the pet will be, it will turn out only by two years. Pay attention to the mobility and activity of the puppies. Healthy kids of the Yakut Laika are little electric brooms that endlessly play and play pranks. For hunting purposes, you need to choose a puppy from working parents. Usually, hunters recommend paying attention to babies who are born first and have a keen sense of smell. You can check the latter quality in the first month of life, the puppy who first finds the mother's nipple has the most outstanding sense of smell. Print out Campbell's test and test on the puppies at the kennel. With its help, babies can identify a number of behavioral defects that are difficult to notice in everyday life. If you need Yakut Laika with leadership inclinations, choose the most curious and daring puppy. One of the indicators is that the baby encroaches on his own mother's bowl and even tries to eat from it. The price of the Yakut Husky. The price tag for puppies, as a rule, is determined by the image of the kennel itself, the pedigree of the litter, as well as the external data of the offspring. For example, animals with a promising exterior from a pair of champions are sold for 500 US dollars. Less spectacular, but healthy babies with metrics and vaccinations by age can be purchased for 300 US dollars.